everyone, I'm Juliana. Today I'm at my friend's cake shop, Patisserie Les Amis, at the Cyberport Arcade. And this is my friend Jojo. Hi guys, hi Juliana, thanks for having me today. Welcome. So imagine you have a perfectly circular cake and you can cut three straight lines. What's the maximum number of pieces you can make with this? I suppose if it's like a circular cake, Normally, if I do three lines, I would do this, and then I'd get six slices. That's right. But can you make more? If it's a 3D cake, so it's like a real cake, I would do a cross at the top, like this, and then if you turn the cake sideways, I'll do a slice down the middle. So I get four on top and then four at the bottom. That's right, so you can get eight equal pieces. So the question for today is, in the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, there are many presents. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve golden leaves, eleven dancers dancing, ten packers packing, nine drummers drumming, eight tomatoes milking, seven swans swimming, six fish laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. So throughout the entire song including all 12 verses, which presents appear the most? So are you talking about the real number? So the number of animals and presents? That's right. If we're just looking at the presents that are sung the most, then it would be the partridge, which, re which is repeated 12 times. But we're actually looking at the number of animals or people. So I guess if I have to count, I would need a piece of paper but if you would be my calculator, it would be easier. Okay, so no I would be calculating, there are 12 partridges in total because I get one partridge every day. And then I'll be two turtle doves times 11 days. I get two of them every day. That's right. And then I get three French hens. So that would be three times 10. So you notice that for the number of presents that's increasing, the days that they will appear will actually decrease one by one. Yes, so it's one times 12 plus well, or the, uh, the next one, yes. two times eleven, yes. and then three times ten, four times nine, and so on. And then in the end, this problem is actually similar to the problem of finding the largest area of a rectangle with a given perimeter, because the largest area will be the a square. Oh. And so what you what you find is the numbers that are closest to the middle. Yes. Okay. So that's which numbers will be closer to the middle? It would so we'll be start off with six, one and twelve and seven. Six and seven. That's right. And so, so there are oh, two so of them. the birds. I get the birds. You get the birds. So there are six geese are laying and, and seven, seven swimming. swimming, and they both occur forty-two times. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> it's like a whole farm by whole the end of farm Christmas. By the end of Christmas. That's oh. right. <laughs> I'm glad to know that. So we have a very delicious looking cake in front of us. Jojo, can you tell us more about the cake? Yes, of course. So this is a chiffon cake with caramel and popcorn, made very quickly by our kitchen today for this demonstration to learn math. You can follow our Facebook, Instagram and website here, have a look at our cakes and then order, and then you can pick up from either our Cyberport shop or our North Point shop. You can even hold an outdoors party here. And if you come here at the right time, you can even catch the sunset. Eight meets of milking. Drumming. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>